So I love, I love comments like this so much because when you look at it at first glance, you think you know what's going to happen. But when you actually start going through it line by line, you realize it won't do exactly what you might have thought it was going to do. So if we look at this line of code up here, we have while true, do exec bash, done. So the first thing you see is while true. Okay, we have an infinite while loop. That's awesome. What are we going to do in that infinite while loop? The condition, true, is always true. So it's a very simple infinite while loop. What are we going to do? We're going to exec bash. So what does running exec bash in your shell do? Well, it turns your current shell into bash. You may be running on bash. You might be running on ZSH, whatever. This will execute bash in place. So your current program will become bash as if it's being executed for the first time. So it'll go through the normal startup routine, source your bash RC or whatever, and then it will put you at a prompt. So this body of the infinite while loop will run exactly once. The infinite while loop will be completely gone because you will have called exec and then we'll just be sitting at a bash prompt. So this is a bunch of extra steps to say, hey, reload my shell in place, but keep the same PID and process container. So yeah, fun little snippet.